as per IS 456-2000 consideration, we know if the ratio of longer span and shorter span is less than 2, then we have to design the slab as two-way slab, as I have discussed in previous video. So in this video, I am going to design two-way slab directly. So let's read out the problem first. Design a RC slab for a room of clear dimension 4 meter by 5 meter. The slab is supported on walls of width 300 mm. The slab is carrying a live load of 4 kN per meter square and floor finish 1 kN per meter square. Use M20 concrete and FE 415 steel. The corners of slabs are held down. So, uh, before starting the problem, I am going to discuss the basic part of two-way slab. We know that in two-way slab, bending comes in both span, in both sides. So, we have to design reinforcement for longer span and shorter span, both. There are no such as distribution bar. There are a torsional moment come in the corners. So, in corner, there are torsional reinforcement have to be designed. And for both sides, that means for longer span and shorter span, we have to design reinforcement for middle strip only. And for four edges, we have to provide edge strip as per IS 456-2000. The total consideration of two-way slab is given in Annex D of IS 456-2000. So, let's have a look to Annex D, IS 456-2000. This is Annex D of IS 456-2000 slab spanning in two direction. So, these are the consideration. We will read it out when we will solve the problem. That will be easier to you to understand the clause and the consideration. There are two figures also. In page number 90, we can find this of IS 456-2000 and next page table 26 also needed for this design. So let's start to solve the problem. LY by LX is equals to 5 meter by 4, 4 meter. LY is longer span that is 5 meter given in question and LX is shorter span that is 4 meter that is also given in question. That is equals to 1.25. So, this is less than 2. That means, this is a two-way slab. We have to design the slab as two-way slab. Let's assume L by G length to depth ratio is 25. From this assumption, small d Effective depth is 4000 by 25, that is 160 mm. Now, assuming clear cover as 15 mm and using 8 mm dia main bar. So, overall depth will be effective depth as per assumption, that is 160 plus clear cover, that is 15 plus half the diameter of main reinforcement bar, that is 4. So, overall depth is 179 mm or we can say 180 mm. Now, effective depth is equal to overall depth 180 minus clear cover plus half dia that means 15 plus 8 by 2 is 4 that is equals to 161 mm. 
next step is span consideration as two spans of two way slab is in consideration so we have to find out effective span in x direction as well as in y direction also but we have to consider effective span as per clause number 22.2 .2 of IS 456-2000. Look, simply supported beam or slab. The effective span of a member that is not built integrally with its support shall be taken as clear span plus the effective depth of the slab or beam or center to center of support whichever is less. So as per clause, the effective span in x direction either center to center distance that is equals to 4 meter the clear span of length of shorter span plus 0 0.3 this 0 0.3 meter that means 300 mm is the width of wall that means width of support which is given in question so that is equals to 4.3 meter or clear span plus effective depth so clear span is 4 plus effective depth as per calculation is 0 0.161 meter so that is equals to 4.161 meter from this to the shorter the lesser will be accepted therefore effective span is equals to least of the above that is equals to 4.161 meter similarly the effective span in y direction ly is equals to 5.161 meter now we have to design the load which is denoted by w u u for ultimate so self weight of slab is equals to 0 0.18 into 1 into 25 that is 4.5 kN per meter 0.18 means 0.18 means 180 mm the overall depth we have considered multiplied by 1. 1 is we know slab is always designed as 1 meter width of beam and 25 is unit weight of RCC. So self weight of the slab is 4.5 kN per meter. Floor finish load floor finish load is given 1 kN per meter Now floor finish load, floor finish load is given 1 kN per meter square in question. So 1 into 1 that is equals to 1 kN per meter. Now live load is given 4 kN per meter square in question. So live load is 4 into 1 that is 4 kN per meter. This one multiplied with finishing load and live load is 1 meter width which is in consideration so total load will be 9.5 kN per meter now we have to multiply load factor that means partial safety factor for load the combination of dead load and live load which is uh, we can get which we can get from which we can get from table 18 of IS 456-2000 that is 1.5 for the combination of dead load and live load. So factored load will be 9.5 into 1.5 that is equals to 14.25 kN per meter. This is factored load. So next step is design moment and shear. For this step first of all we have to get the knowledge of Annex D IS 456-2000. So let's check it out. So where is Annex D of IS 456-2000? As per clause number D11, the maximum bending moments per unit width in a slab are given by the following equations. Mx for shorter span 
is equals to alpha x w l x square and m y moment for longer span is equals to alpha y w l x square where alpha x and alpha y are coefficients given in table number 26 we will just go through table number 26 after this w is total design load per unit area mx and my moments on strips of unit width spanning lx and ly respectively and lx and ly is effective lengths of shorter span and longer span respectively so let's check table number 26 So formula for moment in shorter span mx is equals to alpha x w l x square and for longer span my is alpha y w l x square. Let us check table number 26. So table number 26 is bending moment coefficient for rectangular panel supported on four sides with provision for torsion at corners. So table number 26 is given for bending moment coefficient for rectangular panels supported on four sides with provision for torsion at corners. In the table, In most left column number one case number is given then second one from the left is type of panel and moment considered so there in in this column the support conditions are given as per support condition coefficient of moment will change there are total 9 types of support system in next column short span coefficient that is alpha x there are few values of ly by lx depending upon the value the ratio of ly lx the value of alpha x will change and in last column from the left that is long span moment coefficient that is alpha y for all values uh, the alpha ly lx value is not the criteria for this only support condition is the criteria so these values are given for these support conditions so there are many support conditions like um, interior panels one short edge uh, uh, continuous, one long edge discontinuous, two adjacent edges discontinuous, two short edge discontinuous, two long edge discontinuous, three edge discontinuous, three uh, four edge discontinuous, etc. If any condition among these is directly or indirectly given in question, we will go through these values depending upon ly lx value if any condition not given in question we have to consider any condition among these nine conditions okay so generally we consider if not given if if support condition is not given in question generally we consider the number nine four edge is discontinuous okay so uh, let's go to the uh, problem so in this case support condition is not given in question so we may consider the slab is supported on all the four sides and its corners are held down as given in question therefore we have to consider 
as per table number 26 of IS 456-2000 for LY by LX value is 1.25. So let's check 1.25 value for LY by LX is given or not. If not given, it definitely lies between any two values, then we have to interpolate this. So uh, let's uh, check first from table number 26. Now look in table number 26, the support condition is number 9, 4 edge discontinuous. So our value for LY by LX is 1.25. Now look, uh, 1.25 is not given uh, in this table, but 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, these are given. So 1.25 is lies between 1.2 and 1.3 that is column number 5 and 6 so values are definitely between this so column number 4 and 5 sorry 5 and 6 column number from 5 and 6 the uh, for 1.2 um, alpha x is 0 0.072 and for uh, 1.3 alpha x is 0 0.079 so definitely for 1.25 the value of alpha x lies between 0 0.072 and 0 0.079 now we have to uh, uh, interpolate this to find out the value and for ly look this is given 0 0.056 now we have to interpolate so for alpha x uh, we have to find out the values between 0 0.072 and 0 0.079 so as per formula of interpolation 0 0.072 plus 0 0.079 minus 0 0.072 by 1.3 minus 1.2 multiplied by 1.25 minus 1.2 that is equals to 0 0.075. So value of alpha x is 0 0.075 and value of alpha y is 0 0.056 that is also given in the last column of uh, table number 26 okay so moment in shorter direction mu x is equals to alpha x w lx square that is equals to 0 0.075 into 14.25 into 4.161 square that is equals to 18.5 kilo newton meter and moment uh, in longer uh, span mu y is equals to alpha y w l x square that is equals to 0 0.056 into 14.25 into 4.161 square that is equals to 13.8 kilo newton meter now we have to find out maximum shear force that is v u equals to w u into l y by 2 now now we have to find out the maximum shear force value that is VU equals to WU into LY by 2 that is equals to 14.25 into 5.161 by 2 that is equals to 36.77 kilo newton. Now next step is minimum depth required. So uh, from the uh, formula of NXG we may write MU is equals to 0 0.36 into xu max by d within bracket 1 minus 0 0.42 xu max by d bracket closed b into d square into fck so mu that means uh, limiting moment so here the limiting moment is 18.5 into 10 to the power 6 as we calculated earlier is equals to 0 0.36 into xu max by d is 0 0.48 regarding the condition the value of x u max by d we may find out just below clause number um, 38 and uh, in this um, question a phi is 415 that's why x u max by d is 0 0.48 as per i is 456 2000 within bracket 1 minus 0 0.42 into 0 0.48 bracket closed b is the width and that is 1000 into d square into fck is 20 here so from this d required is equals to 82 mm 
which is less than depth which we have considered hence it's okay that means the depth of the section which we provided that is greater than required depth that means the section is safe regarding depth consideration so uh, now annex d of is 456 2000 as per clause number d 1.2 slabs are considered as divided in each direction into middle strip and edge strips as shown in figure 25 this is figure 25 so for reinforcement arrangement uh, in middle portion middle strips are given and in edge portion edge strips reinforcement are given so as per clause the middle strip being three quarters that means three fourth of the width and each edge strip is one eighth of the width look for span lx three fourth of ly is middle strip and ly by eight per edge strip and for span ly middle strip is three fourth of lx and edge strip is lx by eight so now let's go to the solution look uh, here in the calculation of design of main reinforcement as per ice code provision which we have read just the calculation has been done so along shorter span that means x direction middle strip is width of middle strip is equals to 3 fourth of ly that is equals to 3 fourth into 5.161 that is equals to 3.9 meter and d is 161 mm now as per the equation of annex g of is 456 2000 the, to find out moment ultimate moment the formula is mu is equals to 0 0.87 fy into ast into d within bracket 1 minus ast fy over b into d into fck so in this equation our known values are mu is our known value moment that is our known value fy is grade of steel uh, the yield strength of steel is our known value now AST means area of steel so area of steel is unknown here we have to find out area of steel from this equation into uh, D that is depth that is also known value within bracket 1 minus AST area of steel which we have to find out is unknown value in FY grade of steel value is known by B is width D is depth and FCK is characteristic strength of concrete all are known values so now we have to just put the values in equation and from this equation we can find out the unknown value of AST so after putting these all values you can see here 18.5 into 10 to the power 6 is equals to 0 0.87 into 415 into AST into 161 within bracket 1 minus AST into 415 by 1000 into 161 into 20 from this equation we find out the value of AST so value of AST is equals to as per calculation 332.5 mm square okay. so now using 8 mm diabars that means area of cross section of one bar is pi by 4 into d square that means pi by 4 into 8 square d here is diameter of bar that is equals to 50.3 mm square so spacing will be equals to 
by 332.5 that is AST in 2000 that is equals to 151 mm or we may use the spacing 150 mm so uh, as per clause spacing should be list of 3 into um, depth 3D that is 3 into 161 that is equals to 483 or 300 mm or which we have calculated that is 150 mm so among these three list value is 150 mm so spacing should be 150 mm center to center will be provided now uh, area of steel minimum is 0 0.12 by 100 into b into d this is hysd bar that's why 0 0.12 value is used that is equals to uh, 0 0.12 into 1000 into 180 by 100 into 216 mm square now our AST provided which amount of area of steel we have provided that is 1000 into 50.3 by 150 that is equals to 335 mm square which is greater than the value of AST minimum uh, that is 216 mm square hence okay so provide 8 mm dial bar at the rate of 150 mm center to center in the middle strip of the width 3.9 meter right uh, so after uh, the all calculation done in the drawing we can see the middle strip how it's distributed okay now along longer span y direction middle strip is width of middle strip is equals to 3 fourth of lx that means 3 by 4 into 4.16 that is equals to 3.12 meter now effective depth along y direction will be d minus 161 minus 8 that is the diameter of bar because already uh, bar along x direction is provided so in when uh, y direction span is in consideration to, so definitely dia of one bar through x direction which is provided definitely will be de deducted so that's why uh, diameter of bar 8 is deducted from effective depth okay. so uh, depth for y direction is 153 mm now mu again same same formula same approach from nxg mu is equals to 0 0.87 fy ast into d into 1 minus ast into fy over b into d into fck bracket closed here also only area of steel AST value is unknown other all values unknown so just put the values MU is 13.81 into 10 to the power 6 that is equals to 0 0.87 into 415 into AST into 153 within bracket 1 minus AST into 415 over 1000 into 153 into 20 so all these values are known only AST unknown and uh, MU is calculated earlier in this solution so from this equation area of steel will be 261 mm square that is greater than AST minimum so hence ok for design so spacing of 8 mm dia bar in uh, 50.3 into 1000 by 261 that is equals to 192 mm or we may write that is equivalent to 190 mm so in this case also um, definitely 190 mm will be the lesser value uh, among uh, the 3d and uh, 300 mm which are the spacing values we have to consider the least value as earlier so 190 mm will be the definitely least value therefore provide 8 mm dia bars at the rate of 190 mm center to center in the middle strip of width 
3.12 meter okay so next step is reinforcement in h strip so we know uh, we have calculated earlier that ast minimum area of steel minimum is equals to 216 mm square now using 8 mm dia bars the spacing will be 1000 into 50.3 by 216 that is equals to 232 mm now uh, for spacing spacing will be list of the following 5d 450 mm and 232 mm which is calculated so spacing spacing should be 232 mm or uh, we can use uh, 230 mm okay so in each strip uh, we are calculated just like uh, distribution bar of one way slab a strip minimum is uh, enough reinforcement for each strip okay so we took um, area of steel as a strip minimum and uh, spacing consideration is also is like distribution slab when distribution bar of one way slab that's why uh, the spacing uh, amount will be list of these followings slightly different than the main reinforcement okay so now using 8 mm dia bars at the rate of 230 mm center to center in the h strip of width half into 5.16 minus 3.9 that is equals to 1.04 meter along x direction and h strip of width half into 4.16 minus 3.12 that is equals to 0 0.52 meter along y direction uh, in this case uh, we use half because from the full effective span if we deduct middle strip we will get uh, total length of h strip from both sides but here we have to uh, for reinforcement providing reinforce, uh, reinforcement and design we have to know the one side of h strip that's why uh, we have just uh, multiply the half value with this to get one uh, direction only only uh, h strip one h strip okay now next step is uh, check for shear this is a, in common format uh, nominal shear stress tau v is equals to vu by bd uh, shear we have calculated earlier uh, so vu is uh, 30 uh, 6770 by 1000 into 153 that is equal to 0 0.24 newton per mm square percentage of steel ast by bd into 100 we know this formula so a is 335 by b is 1000 and d is 161 into 100 that is equals to 0 0.21 percent now for percentage of steel 0 0.21 percent 0 0.21 percent and m20 grade concrete we have to find out uh, the value of tau c from table number 19 of is 456 2000 so let's check the um, check uh, table number 19 so uh, table number 19 design shear strength of concrete tau c uh, unit is newton per m square so uh, now uh, in left column 100 ast by bg percentage of steel 0.21 is not in the list but 0.21 is lies between 0.15 and 0.25 now for m20 grade of concrete percentage of steel if 0 0.15 then the tau c value is 0.28 and for 0.25 the value is 0.36 that means for 0.21 is definitely lies between this 0.28 and 0.36 we have to interpolate that now we have to interpolate now tau c is equal to 0 0.28 plus 0 0.36 minus 0 0.28 over 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 multiply it by within bracket 0 0.21 minus 0 0.15 the value will be 0 0.33 
so the tau c value is 0 0.33 now uh, for 180 mm thickness of slab value of k coefficient is 1.24 which you can find out from clause number 40.2.1.1 of IS 456-2000 page number 72 oh, I have already showed in last video for one OS lab that page uh, clause number is written here you can easily find out there so uh, so k value is 1.24 so uh, k tau c is equals to 0 0.33 into 1.2 that is equals to 0 0.41 which is greater than tau v that means no shear reinforcement is required because there are no excess sh excess shear okay now next step is check for deflection so for this first of all we have to find out modification factor from is 456 2000 figure 4 that modification factor will be multiplied with length to depth ratio right so percentage of steel is 0 0.21 we know now fs this formula is given just below figure 4 of is 456 2000 0 0.58 into fy ast required by ast provided that is equals to 0 0.58 into fy is 415 within bracket is required is 333 by provided is 349 that is equals to 240 Newton per mm square so we have to find out modification factor for percentage of steel 0 0.21 and FS 240 MPa so let's check figure 4 of IS 456 2000 so this is figure 4 of IS 456 2000 FS is 240 and uh, percentage of steel is 0.21 so um, from this two we may find out the approximate value of modification factor so modification factor is uh, almost 1.6 for simply supported beam LYG max is equals to 20 into modification factor 1.6 that is equals to 32 and length to depth ratio provided lyg provided is equals to 4161 by 161 that is equals to 26 so uh, this value is lesser than the maximum value hence it is okay so next step is torsional reinforcement at corners in case of two way slab in every corner torsional reinforcement or corner reinforcement have to provide to resist torsional moment which comes in two way slab so as per IS code consideration mesh size is LX by 5 that is equals to 4.16 by 5 that is equals to 0 0.832 meter which is equivalent to 840 mm now area of torsional reinforcement is 3 quarter that means 3 by 4 of 332.5 that is equals to 250 mm square now using 8 mm dia bars dia of one bar we know 50.3 so spacing is 50.3 by 250 into 1000 that is equals to 201 mm or you can say 200 mm so provide 8 mm mesh of bars at 200 mm center to center in a mesh now design part and reinforcement part is complete now time to arrange reinforcement okay, before the join so uh, before starting this uh, arrangement consideration just check out once the IS code provision about this arrangement now look um, as per IS code provision NXD of IS 456-2000 uh, clause number D 1.4 tension reinforcement provided at mid span in the middle strip shall exceed in the lower part of the slab to within uh, 0.25L of a continuous edge or 0.15L of a discontinuous edge 
condition so depend upon this age condition now as per code provision the reinforcement arrangement first on the bending half of the main bars at a distance 0.15 lx that is equals to 0.65 meter from the center of support or 650 minus 150 that is 500 mm from edge of support along x direction available length of bars at top 650 minus 130 that is equals to 520 mm from center of support now next part is bending half the main bars at a distance 0.15 ly that is uh, 775 mm from center of support or 775 minus 150 that is 625 mm from edge, um, edge of uh, support along y direction available length of bars at top 775 minus 130 that is equals to 645 mm from center of support so uh, regarding this uh, reinforcement arrangement we have to draw the figures so uh, this is a longitudinal section of uh, short span so you may see here the drawing from drawing you can understand and the overall length uh, the effective length everything and the um, distance of bent up bar okay everything is written in drawing uh, now next drawing is along long span and the span length uh, change as per our question and as per our calculation so these are the length and um, distance of bent up bar um, lower portion and our portion okay so this is the drawing next part is plan of bottom reinforcement okay. so here everything is given middle strip edge strip and corner reinforcement this is the main plan of bottom reinforcement which we have mainly design which you have get through the design as per the design this drawing has been done you can see here the mesh size its strip size number of uh, um, dial of bar at given support so this is uh, another view which is of top reinforcement here each strip and mesh are given but uh, middle strip is not given and this is the main drawing so here the problem is end Thank you.